In order to add our geometry to the Revit project, there are two options. The first is to export an SAT file, and the other is to add geometry instance directly into a Revit project. Uh, before doing this, we want to take each one of these surface nodes and combine them, compile them into one flattened list. This way we can treat it as one element. So the first step here is to create a list. And we're going to move it to the right here and create a new input. And we'll plug in our surface thicken nodes into each input. So if we look at our output here, we have one list of solids and another list of solids. Uh, we're just going to ignore the difference between the horizontals and the verticals for this input. So let's just flatten the list. We'll pull up that built-in function for flatten. And let's pull it over to the right here. And let's uncheck run automatically. It seems to be slowing down a little bit. Uh, we'll plug our list into our flatten. And let's hit run. So now we can see our result is one list of solids. Uh, so now we're ready to create an SAT file. So the process for creating an SAT file is simple enough. Uh, we'll go to the search bar and search for SAT. We want to go down to Geometry Actions Export to SAT. We have our geometry. And now we just need to pull up a file path. So let's pull up a file path on my computer here. And I'm going to enter this into a string node. Drop a string node onto the canvas, and we'll control V to paste into the string node. Uh, something worth noting, if you want to put it into this folder, you need to create another backslash to put it into that folder. Otherwise, it'll be in the folder above. Uh, so the correct format is to have the file name be the last in the series of the folder path. So we'll plug that into the file path, and we'll hit run. And we can see that it's written as an SAT file. And if I check into this folder, we see that we have a 2.7 mega export. So we can import that back into Revit. We can import it back into Dynamo. And we can almost work recursively with these operations as we're importing and exporting SAT files. Another consideration is adding geometry directly to the Revit document. Uh, this is just through adding instances. So let's delete our export to SAT. And we'll also delete our file path. And we're still going to deal with this flattened list. And over here in Revit, I'm going to hide our original reference geometry. And I'm going to go to the search bar and search for import. And what I actually want to do is go to Revit uh, create by geometries. So I'm going to choose this option here. And this is going to import all of the geometries into the Revit file as actual Revit geometries. Uh, they are not very intelligent families. Uh, they're just Revit masses, essentially, uh, being imported into your project. So let's hit run and see what we get. So we can see we have our whole waffle grid imported into Revit as defined by Dynamo. So here it is all as one geometry. And let's delete this. And instead of import instance by geometries, let's do by geometry and see what the difference is. So delete that previous one and let's show the difference. So that first option imported all of those as one object. Uh, this option imports it as multiple objects. So just a taste of some of the geometric operations we can do on imported SAT files, and also some of the methods for exporting to external files uh, from Revit or into a, a Revit document. Uh, bear in mind that this bounding box graph that we set up is generic. We can do it on a wide range of closed polysurfaces. Uh, that have been imported into Revit.